up my people Jax B the Ripper here today I got something more interesting um I have a vinyl update I guess you could say only thing is they're not well now they're my vinyls but I found them in my mom's garage I did not buy them I did not purchase purchase them off discord or anything like that or you know eBay um, I just found them in my mom's garage. I was like, yo, do you want these? She was like, no. And I was like, fuck yeah, I'm taking them. However, there are three vinyls I cannot find anywhere. And I know she had them and I put them in a safe place and I can't find them. And that's like two Rolling Stone records. And I forgot what the other one was. Anyways, but, but you know, I'm pissed at as it is because I like the Rolling Stones. Except for I can't get no satisfaction. I hate that song so much. I really do. But I'm like, damn, I can't find this. And these are like actual legit items. Like, you know, it ain't like CD press or cassette press. It's like from that era. <laughs> so I'm like really, really pissed. I can't find my Rolling Stone records. I'm like, what the fuck? So anyways. Let's go ahead and show you what I found. Some of these bands I don't know anything of, but I know there are vinyl collectors out there and there are people out there with a broader taste of music than I have. I mean, I thought I have a broad taste, but after watching like like Julian Lopez, Vinyl Black Star, like you guys have a broad taste and Metal Mickey even. So I'm like, okay, so maybe somebody out there could tell me who these bands are and how if you like them, you know, experience with them or anything like that. But it's very few. Anyways, let me start with a band where I know none of y'all are going to know who this is unless you're Mexican like I am. So that's Los Bookies. Los Bookies, I don't even know what kind of genre of music this is, to tell you the truth. It's not Norteña, that's for sure. Um, my, I grew up listening to them all my life. This one, if you guys are like Latina like, or Latino like me, um, you guys know Casas de Cartón. That's like a real popular song from them. And then the guy, where is he? Marco Antonio Solis, right there. He, he's just like a solo singer now. Very, very well respected. Like Every time when I try to go out and see, like, you know, um, him live or anything <laughs> those tickets are like Rolling Stone prices yeah so um, it's just black vinyl yeah it's very see it's even oh let me show you how old school this is um paper and everything look very old school so yeah you guys are gonna laugh at this one um <laughs> I found a Sesame Street vinyl and I'm taking it and guess what there's more than one there's a lot of songs on there. Oh shit, it's two, it's two records on here. I didn't even know that. Um, I haven't even opened it or gone through it or anything, but it's black vinyl already. Here's the inside. Um, there's lyrics. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, there's lyrics and everything, but yeah, it's, that's it. There's like no special art to it or anything. Um, it's the anniversary. Okay, anniversary album. Okay. Uh, like it goes to show you how well I like went through them. But supposedly this belonged to like my, um, my mom used to play this for my brothers. My brothers are much more older than I am. They were born in the 70s. I was born like late 80s, close to the 90s. So let your feelings show people. Oh my goodness, yes. I am going to annoy my neighbors by playing Sesame Street music. The back of it. Yes, I know there's a glare, but I'm not taking it out of the, of the plastic thing because I'm pretty sure there's no artwork in it. The Smurfs, people. The back of it in case I need any help sleeping which I'm pretty sure I will I got my favorite big bird to be singing me some bedtime song well I got more Sesame Street than I thought wow wow okay um, Bert and Ernie sing along to the two homies right there I do like listening to some oldies so here I go with Neil Sadaka Oh my goodness, Happy Birthday Sweet 16 is on here. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know he sang that song. Oh god, my mom sang that song to me on my 16th birthday. I was like, stop! And this one's just like a bunch of like old, like, you know, oldie songs on there. The back of it. Got some Elton John. The back of it. A lot of you guys are gonna laugh and you're gonna be like, you really like him? I'm like, yes, I listen to John Denver every now and then, people. So yes, I do like John Denver. It's funny because I every time when I listen to his stuff, I don't know why it reminds me of Texas. Like I told you guys, I have family in Texas. I'm just like 
not, I'm not moving close to where they're at, um, but every time when I feel like, I guess, homesick for Texas, I play John Denver. I don't know why. I just... Some more oldies. Herman Herman. They sing like Mrs. Brown, You've Got a Lovely Daughter, in case you haven't heard that song. Okay, I don't know anything about this band. This is called Crazy Horse Loose. It looks very psychedelic, and that's why it intrigued me to like listen to it. So, yeah, I don't know. If you guys know anything about this band, let me know. That's one thing I liked about that era, like the 60s. Um, it was like they had like a lot of psychedelic sounding music. George Harrison, I mean, I know I've been vocal. I don't know if I've been vocal that I don't like the Beatles, but I do like their individual work. So, And I thought I was done with Sesame Street. Hell nah. It's pink. Oh look, there goes that one doctor guy right there that Big Bird was really friends with. I forgot his name. I just remember seeing like YouTube clips and damn YouTube, you'd be having this alright. When he died and Big Bird learned of his death and it was like the first time they were teaching children about death. That was depressing. Go watch it. Oh, Carol King. I've heard of her. I've heard of some of her music. So I was like, I'll take it just in case. Jazzman is on this song. Obviously, everybody has heard that song, especially if you watch The Simpsons. More Elton John. I like him. I want Yellow Brick Road. Let me see. This opens up. Very plain. Not that much in there. Aw, shit, look at this, look at this, look at this, hell yeah, bitches. <laughs> Fucking love this album, okay? She Bop, eventually when I found out that shit's about masturbation, oh, you better believe that was my new favorite song instead of Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. More John Denver. This one's completely falling apart. Oh, okay, yeah, I see what it is. Oh, shit, yeah, it's completely falling apart. Do any of you guys know how to, okay, I don't know if it was like this, but do you any of you guys know how to, like, save a vinyl? When it's like that, um, I guess I'm just going to keep it in a sleeve for sure. Um, in one of those plastic sleeves. Thank goodness I have some more. More George Harrison right here. Um, T-Rex. Electric Warrior. Never heard of them. The song singers there's on here is like Cosmic Dancer, Jeepster, Moonlith, um, Lean Woman Blues, um, Girl, The Motivator, Life's a Gas, and Rip Off. Um, I don't know. Never heard of this. I think I want to listen. Like I'm going to try to find them on YouTube and see how I like them first. And if I like it, I'll keep it. Then if not, then I'll be like, tell my mom to like sell it. Oh, it comes like this. But yeah, some of these vinyls actually didn't belong to my mom. They belonged to one of her friends. And her friend threw away a lot of good vinyls, believe it or not. She had the doors. And that pissed me off that she threw them away. But my mom took some of them. The only thing like she got mad was she wasn't able to take the Beach Boys. I like the Beach Boys, but I don't think they're like the best like surfing music. Obviously, Dick Dale is a lot better than them. Um, it's just like the Beach Boys have a soft place in my heart because they're actually um, from the area where I grew up, did some of my growing up in, in Hawthorne. Basically raised in the neighbor city of mine, so yeah, they're like kind of well known in the South Bay. So she's like a hardcore Beach Boys fan, um, but my mom's friend would not let her keep those. Or, like she kept them for sure, but yeah, but she gave my mom some of the Beatles one and I was like, I don't know. But I know my mom also gave some away, like a lot of them away. I was like, why would you do that? I'm like, why? Anyways, thanks you guys for watching. Y'all take care of your vaginas. And I just say have a bonerific day.